Another thing about if you're getting the setup for the Mini 4 Pro is to get yourself a good neck strap because um, it does make things a little bit simpler, especially if you're talking and walking. Sometimes. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add audio to your RC2. Now I've done a previous video on the RC to do with the uh, Mini 3 Pro. And now we've got the Mini 4 Pro. How do you do it on the RC2? It's the same sort of thing. Now, obviously, if you've got the DJI mic, which is this one here, which I find probably one of the best because it comes in a little case. You've got your two mics, your receiver as well. And, and as soon as you open it up, it all links up together. And then as soon as you put it on, it's already on. So that's the thing you, you need to do. But if you know on the bottom of your receiver there, you've got the, which I class as the power point. That's where you can plug in your mic. So you don't have to have a, a DJI mic. You can have any other mic that will plug into that and that will work. And what's, what's gonna happen is as soon as you turn on the screen save, it will start recording. Simple as that. And it's pretty good, I must say. I use it quite a lot. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna take out uh, the mic that I need, which is that one. I'll put that one away. Now, as soon as I take it out, it's already picked up the mic that's in my hand. And all we do, guys, is you just plug it in there and that's it's ready so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to put on the the wind protector because there's a bit of a wind today i've got my dog hanging around because she thinks i'm going to feed her now the other thing is you've got to make sure that you've got the mic on now usually when it comes out of case it automatically does it but don't always necessarily do it no. i fitted on the mic i fitted on the receiver the mic's on. Now you're probably wondering why I've got two mics in. Now one of these mics is to do with this machine here, which is the DJI Pocket 2. And the other one's obviously to do with the RC2. Uh, they're both recording, which is good. And I expect that. What I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk that direction. I'm gonna get a drone up. So the first thing we do is turn on the controller. And I can show on the screen, we do the screen record. The other good thing about this, if you did lose anything that's on the screen, it's still saved to the mic. So I can download the mic SD card as a backup. And that's another reason why I like this setup. Okay, so we're on there already. I'm just gonna scroll down now. I'm gonna do screen with save. Now, if I just prove it, it's gonna say at the top there, recording screen and audio. So. And if I wanted to stop that, I'm just going to move that over there a minute. I'm going to get the drone on. Good. I'm going to be going that way. Unfortunately, the sun's going to be on the camera there, so I don't know how that's going to work. But anyway, I'm just waiting for the drone to get itself set up. Just kicking into the satellites at the moment. But everything you see now is actually on the screen. And what you're hearing is actually on the screen as well. But as I walk off in that direction, because I'm going to have my back to the camera, eventually I'm want, you'll be able to hear me, but you will be able to hear me from this machine, which is uh, pretty good, I think. So, drone's ready. Let's do auto takeoff. Okay. Now, interesting, I didn't hear the lady say the home point's been set, but I would imagine the home point has been set. We'll try that out later on. So I'm just going to set the drone up. I'll send it up a little bit. I'm going to walk this direction. You Hopefully, as I'm talking, you could be able to hear me for a bit. We're going to get the active track on me. Okay, active track. 
that's on me so the drone's gonna follow me um, okay I got it on trace videos on interesting I can't hear nothing on the screen so maybe that's when you plug it in it knocks out the audio sound so I'm gonna carry on walking this way now the mic on the pocket two should still be able to hear me for the moment but I think this is a, a good test to see how well this drone copes well how well the mic copes because that's the main thing can't believe it's a, a Saturday I haven't seen anybody yet but I expect later on there'll be loads of people out here walking about hiking about the drones follow me well which is good so anyway I would imagine by now my mic has not got me at all now one because I'm quite a distance and also I just can't see it so I'm just going to stop the active track a moment and put it on parallel I don't want to make this video too long because it's a pretty simple procedure Okay, I'm just going to stop that. I've still got the box around me. Put it on parallel. Okay, so it's on, it's on parallel now. So hopefully it's going to keep, come to the side of me now. Without me falling down any of these holes. Another thing about if you're getting the setup for the Mini 4 Pro is to get yourself a good neck strap because um, it does make things a little bit simpler especially if you're talking and walking sometimes I do leave the uh, controller on the ground but today I just want to keep track of things now hopefully by now my other mic the pocket 2 mics probably picked me up by now so I can see the camera now so what I will do in a moment is we'll shut this all down, we'll go back to the studio and I'll show you how to transfer um, the sound and the video off your uh, RC2. It's got a few problems at the moment, the RC2, but I'll show you how you do that as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. The drone. So you just brought your drone back to your home and you need to get that video that you've done on your screen save onto your computer now with the rc2 it's a slightly little bit different to the previous rc uh, controller whereas on the old one or i shouldn't say the old one it's the mini 3 pro everything went on the external card well for some reason with the rc2 everything goes on on the internal card but you need to get that stuff off that internal card. So the way that I do it um, is pretty easy. So you just scroll down, you press the setting button, you've got storage, you press storage, internal storage. Now, the other bit that's interesting, you press the music and audio file you get the audio files you press audio you do videos now on your videos whatever you've done so for instance movies it would be on this file so what you do we select this file here with a tick you go over to these three dots you got move to, go back to downloads, Android. Now you can, if you want, you can press uh, movies. I don't tend to do that, but you can do that and you just pay move. So what it's doing now, it's downloading that to your Android device. 
And that's it. That's all you have to do, guys. So what you do, bring it back to this, and you just turn off the controller. And that's it. And then you just remove the SD card from the bottom of the controller. Put that transfer that onto your computer. Mm -hmm.